Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This, Press That. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, welcome. It's good to see you again. Good to see you again. You know, we didn't think we were going to get this episode off the ground, but we sure are. It's awesome. Busy week. Busy week. Busy week this week. So we're going to talk today about one of my favorite plugins, uh, that, Gravity Forms. Just one of your favorite plugins. Just, one of my just favorite, like that. Just one of my favorite plugins goes in every single site that we do uh, at the studio and every site that I consult on. Uh, Gravity Forms versus Contact Form 7. You got it. So uh, Gravity Forms comes from Rocket Genius. And Contact Form 7 comes from Idea Silo. Nice, nice. And geniuses they are. Not to steal the show. Yeah. I don't want to steal the show just yet. But um, So let's we'll start talking about Gravity Forms. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. It's probably one of the uh, most well-supported premium plugins that I've dealt with. Um, you know, this is quickly becoming one of those. Uh, all the Press This, Press That series has always been, so far, premium versus free. For the most part, yeah. It's been a premium or a freemium, as I like to say. Yep. Uh, and it's well, we haven't done a free versus free or a premium versus premium yet because right. usually all the major stuff is always uh, it's how it is. It's just mm -hmm. one person makes a really good premium one, and then there's a whole bunch of other free ones that go along with it. Yeah. Uh, but Gravity Forms uh, does a ton. Uh, not only is it making you forms, but it integrates with email platforms, e-commerce platforms, member registration. Um, other sets of data that you can there's <laughs> tons right so if you go to if you go to rocket genius you can check it out right. um, but we use it on all hours because one it's super easy to use we can give it to a client to build a form mm -hmm. um, so they can literally just right. drag and drop the different right. fields that they want mm -hmm. uh, where do they want the form to go who do they want to email stuff like that yeah. uh, so that's really awesome uh, let's see what's another great point MailChimp yeah, a Weber for our marketing yeah. people. Mm -hmm. um, anybody who's creating a marketing drip campaign, a Weber is super popular for that. Right. We might actually talk about that mm -hmm. in another episode uh, oh. for I'm our good. marketing friends. Sounds good to me. <laughs> a little surprise to you, but we will. Um, yeah, so I, I can't say enough. It's you know it's thirty nine bucks for mm -hmm. a form. Yeah, I mean for Gravity Forms. Yep, that's a start. So there are three different. Uh, Payment models, there's a $39 personal model, and that's a one user. Uh, there's a $99 business model for three user, and then of course the $199 developer model for mm -hmm. infinite users. But it goes beyond that, because when you look at you know the add-ons they give you, they do give you additional add-ons as you go up in price. Right. So you were talking about, for example, uh, integration with MailChimp and whatnot. You actually can't get that feature until you go up to at least a business account. Okay. So you can't get that with just a $39 personal gotcha. account. You have to pay at least $99 for that? Yep. Just just throwing it out there. Yeah, just to get on there. Same thing with AWeber. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, WooCommerce, they do uh, plugins that you can buy on the side. So Woo right. WooCommerce is free, but you have to pay for all those additional plugins. Right. And this one just gives it kind of yeah, it gives it all packages to you. it out. Yep, when you buy it. So yeah, we have the developer, so you know we just hook in uh, to all our sites with that. Uh, and it goes beyond that for you more experienced WordPress users and developers. Uh, we use it to cr automatically create user accounts um, yeah. on the WordPress platform. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do it. Uh, we use it with a few e-commerce sites that that don't, don't have a lot of products that might not need a WooCommerce mm -hmm. uh, or a WP e-commerce. Right. We can just integrate it with PayPal, uh, the form with PayPal, and just hook it in right there. It's super easy. Let's take get rid of some unnecessary weight on yeah. your website. Yeah. Uh, so a big thumbs up uh, to to Gravity Forms. I love it. We love it here at the studio. But another one is Contact Form Seven. Contact Form Seven. My old favorite plugin. <laughs> the old favorite plugin. So, so they've actually jumped ship over from Contact Form Seven. So they've experienced there as well. Uh, the thing with Contact Form Seven is, is just as we always talk about, we have your premium theme with all the support and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But then we now we have Contact Form Seven, which is your free plugin. With the free plugin, you just don't get as much stuff. Right. Um, you're missing a lot of those add-ons and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a much simpler uh, interface because of it. Looking mm -hmm. on the actual WordPress side of things, how you run it, it really doesn't give you a lot of options. There's one page you go to for everything. Mm -hmm. And it's got you know your, your short link when you want to put it in your page or your post uh, for, for what you want to do. All of your CSS stuff, HTML stuff's done in one text box. Right. Everything's taken care of on that one page. Seems to be a recurring theme with Premium versus free yeah. is premium, it can do a ton, uh, mm -hmm. but 
it's there's stuff all over the place. So it's right. not. It, I mean, a lot of the stuff like Gravity Forms is great UI. It's still easy to use, but there's still a lot of steps to go through. <laughs> and if you're brand new to this, there's still like whoa. Yeah. What and, is all this? and it's again that developer versus themer sort mm -hmm. of mentality where the Contact Form Seven has more of a very base. You know, you input your stuff here and mm -hmm. it works kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. Where with Gravity Forms, it is more UI based, and you know, click on the pretty button over here. Mm -hmm. And this pretty button does this very specific yep. thing. How many, how many, uh, you know, what's your conversion rate per form? Yeah. Here's how many people submitted All these it. little minute things yep. uh, that are a little easier to see, I would imagine, with Gravity Forms because they're all there. Mm -hmm. um, and then with Contact Form 7, you're sort of supplying all that information yourself through code and whatnot. Yeah. Yep. Um, so I really like that. Um, you just paste it right into your page, really easy. Yeah, uh, one use, use short codes. One little thing as somebody, again, who's just starting to use these, I will do a little bit of a, of a call out here. Uh, we were talking about it a little bit before. Mm -hmm. was with, with Gravity Forms, it was difficult for me. I didn't actually see where the, the form entry was. Right. Yep. Um, so that, you know, it can be a little difficult to navigate a little bit with it, yep. but there are more options there. Yep. Nice. Um, but yeah. I, I liked it. I, I liked it for a basic contact form. Yep. I was highly impressed with Gravity Forms, though. Nice. Yeah, me too. Uh, like you said, we were talking before the show. It's the first plugin where you were like, I would buy this yeah. 39 bucks. No question. I'm in. Yeah. You know, I, I can do all this stuff. And, and again, Contact Form 7, We've that's what we used in the past. Mm -hmm. And still a great contact form. Mm -hmm. uh, like I, like you were saying, it's just super easy. Each individual form, is you just control it on one one page. Who do I want to mail it to? Uh, you know, Do I want to modify sty CSS styles? Mm -hmm. Do I want to add other stuff to you know, the headers of the of the uh, contact form. What does the email look like when it comes into me? You can just modify it all on one page. So if you're looking for a super fast solution for getting contact forms on your WordPress site for free, contact form seven. Awesome. Big thumbs up for that. Yeah. If you need that support uh, from a you know premium plugin developer, Gravity mm -hmm. Forms. If you need to do something advanced yeah. with contact forms, Gravity Forms. Uh, you know. So what you're trying to say is Grab. fourth fourth weekend, <laughs> yep. fourth episode, first yep. full month, and not a not a not a precise winner yet. Not a precise winner yet. Uh, and, you know, so far that's what we've been doing. We're doing the premium yeah. versus free. It's always that support. Mm -hmm. uh, and but a lot of the, the theme uh, the plugins that we've looked at, the free stuff has been yeah. really good too. Yeah, it's been really good too. So if you have recommendations that you want to see us go head to head with next week, Let send us them in. Um, next week we're looking at. We already have it set up, right? We're going to be looking at... Uh... We're going to be looking at writing the display plugins. Ah, yeah, so right. for all you people who went out there and spent at least $2,000 on your, <laughs> on your yeah. beautiful, crisp new MacBook <laughs> Pro Retina, or those of you that have another high DPI uh, display nice. uh, computer, we're going to be talking about the best plugins and even a little bit how to implement them. Cool. Awesome. That's going to be good. One of the plugins is uh, made by our own developer, yeah. John. John. Yeah, he's a good guy. Um, so we'll take a look at that next week. Again, if you have any recommendations for what you want to see as either a WordPress beginner or if you're a, you know, advanced WordPress developer, we'll get somebody with a lot more brains than us to sit behind this camera and talk about code. Uh, we can set that up for you too. Head on over to our site, slocumstudio.com. Check out the blog, subscribe, leave some comments in the YouTube. We want to really figure out where, uh, we're going with our content and we want to produce stuff that you like. Absolutely. Awesome. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks guys.